What up Long Beach, welcome back to your home for everything local sports, it's JJ. This highlight video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. It's homecoming Saturday at Long Beach State where they're taking the festivities inside this year to celebrate 25 years of the Walter Pyramid. Great history in this building and today it's also got great food, thanks to Naples Rib Company. Carnival games, giveaways, sandbar was popping as the alums and fans saw some old familiar faces in the stands and some fresh faces on the floor. It's a brand new beach bunch with 11 new players. They gave a UCLA a run for its money on Wednesday, showed some real fight in that one. Taking on a San Diego team that also dropped a tough opener, and the Toreros came out aggressive and on the front foot, building an early lead in this one. However, the story of the first half was the sloppy play. It's the second game that's going to happen, but the beach seemed to be more comfortable in the slop. Like a good racehorse, there are a bunch of mutters. The first four possessions were turnovers, and there were 46 turnovers on the night. 29 forced by Long Beach, and the home team created 30 points off of those miscues. They retook the lead 15-14 at the 12-minute mark and didn't trail again. I mean, it's plays like this. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Jordan Roberts from his keister to Trevor Irish, exactly how Munson drew it up. One of the transfers you need to get to know is Michael Carter III. Originally from UW MC3, can score from anywhere and kept Long Beach offense afloat along with Colin Slater here in the first half. Carter finished with 14 points, that and one. And Long Beach State takes a 37-34 lead into the break, much to the light of the student section, and especially mascot shark doo 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 doo. Long Beach continued to run through the muck and the mire of this game and got out in transition with Slater mushing the sled. A 13-2 run around the 15 minute mark proved to be the dagger and Chance Hunter was wielding the blade. The transfer from Cerritos can also score from anywhere and really filled the stat box in the second half. Had a game high 21 points, team high nine rebounds, showing some fight there in the paint with an assist and a steal. And then he is going to get his left hand free on that dunk. Said after that he really fed off of the energy in the mid. Candidly, it's been a while since we heard a Long Beach State basketball player say that and we believed him. Jordan Roberts getting in on the Showtime action as well. Jumpman, Jumpman Jordan. And the bench loves it. Another sign of a cohesive unit early in the season. They really do pull for each other while competing for playing time. Can't forget Colin Slater, the vocal leader, had a few very timely threes and finished with 18 points thanks to this move. He's just a Slater boy, and he'll see you later, boy. Long Beach State is going to win this one going away and look pretty impressive in doing it. 74-62 over San Diego. They're going to be at Stanford on Tuesday and back in the mid on Friday, November 22nd against Fresno Pacific. For all of that Long Beach State athletics coverage and everything else Long Beach sports, you stay right here at the 562.org.